pleasure of introducing Timothy Wright. Um, Timothy Wright gave up a career as a hot fashion model to write poetry, <laughs> and he writes poetry as well as he is handsome and hot. Well, that was awful sweet. Um, I have two for you tonight. Um, and yes, there's an elephant in the second one. So that's our theme for tonight. Um, the first one is, um, it's about a, the warmth of an early summer night, and being with someone that you love. And the second one is about um, a trip that I took to Thailand, which is a very hot place, um, but it's, it's a wonderful place. So, uh, I'm to put these on so I can read. Okay, no, no. <laughs> Uh, this one is called Night Walk for Pat. You are the ecstasy of crickets in June along warm, dark lanes under the marshmallow moon whose pull towards a kiss is palpable. You are the sensual walk at twilight, fireflies signal that we must touch, my finger soft like a moth on your knuckle, heart fluttering under a lamppost. The evening breeze is your caress. My neck tingles, bare shoulders bask. Night jasmine ushers us gently along. An owl's feather falls in silence. You, the cloak of stars above, twinkle in the eyes and hold up the wings of exuberant night raptors. A mouse dances just off the sidewalk in shadow. Your hand is the fox gliding along the long lawn of my back, leafy branches nod as we move under a caterpillar and coiling in agreement. We are courted by full-throated frogs, beetles and bats and secretive green living things, all the live jewels of evening unseen arrayed around us, on us, crowning this night walk. You are the flower teased open by darkness, your petaled lips moist with dew. Purse towards mine, I alight and linger. Your mouth is full of nectar. You are the summer full of grace. You are the moment I look around. Heart light, hands held tight. Bask in you and marvel. And the second one is called Koh Samui, which is an island <coughs> in Thailand. The heat of Koh Samui is a curry on the skin, an aromatic in the lungs, a spice in the eyes. It is an attentive companion, the damp folds of my cotton shirt on my brow between my toes. I walk down the crowded street where the heat crowns every tourist, every native, all mysterious smiles. It looks up and down the crooked poles, in and out of stalls, hotels, bars, it intensifies the brilliant orange and red garlands in cabs or on spirit houses where tiny figures live spirit lives, feasting in the bright day on food, flowers, and bottles of Sprite. In late afternoons, the heat submits to a storm. I sit on the veranda with scentless dendrobiums, writing on the once crisp pages of my journal about the white bodies of the German men next door. Every day, two Thai boys come to the beach from another low-slung island. They bring the breeze on their wave runner, amble across the hot sand conspicuously, throw themselves onto the worn table of their makeshift hut, and take a nap. Their, nut their nutmeg limbs sparkle the thin, wet fabric of their short husks of desire. In the quiet temple, Heat clings like the shrouds of the mummies of past priests. They yawn from flaking gold cases of dusty glass. I move quietly through a city of Buddhas and contemplate the belly the size of a car. The wet market is announced in the nose. I step around an ornery rooster out front. Rich smells each become a new chapter of discovery, coaxed open by the heat some good, some, ex some explicably bad. Tubs of restless eels and fish and brackish water, resigned turtles 
and piles of meat pull me languidly along. The loveliness of strange fruit everywhere makes the eyes ache. First a rose apple, then a dragon fruit, cools my tongue with crisp novelty. In the street, scooters zip past an old woman, all rags and ricket limbed, accosted by the owner of the mango tree from which she has just plucked a fruit. In the fierce midday heat, tempers flare and is quick turned to embers. She slinks away, the treasure clutched to her chest. She mutters to herself, and I can see her lovely teeth. Under the palms, past the long bleached dock, the heat nuzzles the velvet thighs of the beautiful lady boy in shorts. She sits in shade with her coy girls, long legs primly crossed, her sandals twinkle with plastic jewels. She watches intently as the Thai captain of our boat, perhaps her lover, pulls the loose flap of skin from my coral-cut foot with a quick jerk and a mumbled, sorry. He bandages it expertly. His hands are sticky with my blood. I want to touch them. I sit on the shoulders of an elephant. She carries me along, immune to the swelter. She pays no heed to sharp sticks, prodding, and barks. Her hair is very sparse and all bristles and tickles between my legs. Her walk is wonderfully ponderous. By the end of our trek, I have fallen in love. I buy warm bananas to feed her. Her scent is very heavy in the hot afternoon, mingling with the perfume of bananas. I would love to feed her until she was full, as delighted as I.